you may know this or you may not know this. If you begin to live for God, expect resistance. And you may say, what do you mean by that, Kevin? Okay. Expect things to not always go your way. Expect some hardships. Expect this and that. I think some people may believe or have an idea in their head that if they begin to live for God, everything is going to be easy. Going by his rules will be so easy and effortless. Effortless? Some people may believe that all of their problems will go away once they live for God. Listen now, myself. Yes, I can say there are times of peace for me, but in my dreams with some people, with this or that, things are not always easy for me. There is a person I help. I can tell you this. That person goes through so much. Yes, that person has my guidance. But even with that, that person, I believe, goes through so much resistance. When that person is trying to live for God, there is a person I helped before person A, I guess I can say, and I believe that person is still going through some stuff. If someone told you all of your problems will go away if you live for God, I think that is a very large lie or a mistake to say. Myself, I go through stuff in my dreams. I go through some stuff with some people. I go through stuff with this and my thoughts. And it's like sometimes I believe sometimes it may seem to me like a constant battle. I'm serious. Yes, there is peace. Yes, there is happiness. Yes, there is joy, but there are some times of what I may call it spiritual battle. So if you have this idea that when you give your life to God, there should be roses and bubbles and fun time and happiness all the time, I believe you are setting yourself up for disappointment and maybe failure. Because if you have this thought that when you try to, or if you try to live for God, everything should be perfect. And if you try to live for God and things aren't that way, you may begin to believe living for God isn't for you. So get your mind right in thinking about living for God. Yes, there may be some peace. 
Yes, there may be some joy and stuff like that, but I believe there will be time for testing. And I believe I have been tested so many times and from my experiences, if I am saying this correctly, I don't think testing is always fun. Being tested, I mean. Going through temptations, I guess for me, if I am correct about this, isn't fun. But I believe what I can say, going through what I went through, I think it has made me a better person. I believe I can say that. If you are thinking about giving your life to God today, which you should, Expect resistance. Am I telling you to be paranoid? No. Am I telling you to, I guess, be discouraged or whatever? No. What I am telling you, expect a fight, a spiritual fight. And I think as you elevate in God, I believe at times resistance may be greater. Myself. Sometimes I am surprised about what I experience, especially in my dreams. But I think the good thing about it, I guess if you experience stuff like that and more, I think it shows you how real the Bible is, like how real, I guess I can say serving God is, like this is not a game. I can tell you this, I guess. I believe more than one time, I believe I would be laying down and I believe it would feel like something is being pulled out of my body. Like there is two of me. Like me coming out and me laying down. And I believe that feeling or situation, I guess I can say, happened, man, I think quite a bit of times. And I think there were times where it felt like, I guess I was moving off my couch or bed or whatever, like moving like this. And I think more than one time, it felt like I was going down. You may say I am crazy or my mind is messed up. You can say, I guess, that I am on drugs and stuff like that, whatever. But I tell you this, this world is not a game, <laughs> not at all. So if you haven't, give your life to God. And if you believe this video will help others, please share it. Let me stop here. God bless you.